Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Sancho, I'm a psychiatry trainee in the UK. And I'm Ron, I'm a radiology trainee in the UK. And today we're filming a hotly awaited video. It's Bojack Horseman episode two. I feel like it's hotly awaited by a very vocal minority of our subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so we were gonna push this back a little bit because we had other plans. Yeah. But you guys have been asking for episode another episode so much that we thought we can't push this back any Give further. Give the people what they want. Exactly, it's a democracy around here. You ask, we deliver. Say when. When. Yeah, you'll never guess who's here. Think 90s. No, Bojack Horseman from Horsin' Around. No, I mean, he got a little fatter, but it's definitely him. If I said that to you on the phone, I was in a bar and I said, you could never guess who's here. Yeah. Think 90s. Who do you think I'm talking about? Do you know who I instantly thought about? Who? The guy of Art Attack. Who? I didn't grow up in the UK yeah. until I was like 12, so I have a vague idea. Uh -huh. That's what I was gonna say, I'm not sure if you actually watched Art Attack. But I don't know why my mind went straight to Art Attack. Really? <laughs> Poor guy, man. Yeah. He's just trying to have a drink. He's obviously, he doesn't look very happy. No. And then people are taking photos of him yeah. and laughing. Yeah, I think even if you saw someone the, who was famous, even if you liked them, mm. you wouldn't just take photos of them. No, no. You'd go up and say, hello, Yeah. do you mind if I have a photo? And I think it depends what they're doing. If they're like having, sat down having a meal with their with family yeah, or something, just like leave them alone. If they're walking yeah. around or whatever and other people have approached them and they're quite happy to do yeah. it, then fair enough, like go and say hi. So frustrating. Whenever we're off for dinner, they're like, oh, hi, I recognize you guys, just kind of in the mind. You did get recognised <laughs> at that time. No, it was twice now, I think. Yeah. Somebody met you up. That was really nice, actually. That was yeah. really nice. He was like, oh, I watch your channels. I watch your medical stuff. It was really helpful. I was yeah. like, oh, that's really nice. Yeah. yeah, it was really nice. Shout out to you. Thanks. Yeah, me, buddy. I really shouldn't eat chocolate because it can literally kill me. Oh, I know. But I love chocolate. Story of my life. <laughs> that's literally what Doc would say if they could speak. Yeah. I love chocolate, but I can't eat it. Hey, excuse me. Yes, I am Bojack Horseman, star of Horsin' Around. Yeah, okay, I don't care. Those are my muffins. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't understand. Did you bring them into the store with you? Or? No, but I was going to buy them. That's the last box, and I had dibs on them. Really? You had dibs? Yeah, dibs. I just put them down for a second while I went to the bathroom. Look, I don't even want the muffins. I was just looking at them. But I gotta say, if you put muffins down, they're not your muffins. So what? I was supposed to take them into the bathroom with me? Wait, you didn't even put the muffins in a cart. You just left them out here. Yeah, in the produce section. Clearly muffins aren't supposed to be in the produce section. That wasn't a sign to you that maybe someone else had dibs? The seal or whatever it is, is he's in the wrong. I think, I think if you just chuck your items lying around and someone picks them up, you can't really say much. The seal looks so annoying as well. Yeah. Even the way he talks is quite annoying. <laughs> Are seals annoying? I guess so. They're no, just like sea dogs. Loud and yappy, aren't they? I don't want to get into a whole thing here. Then give me the muffins. No, because maybe now I want the muffins. This is exactly what I would do. <laughs> I wouldn't even want the muffins. The fact that this guy's come up to me and said, I want the muffins, I'd be like, no, I want them now. Let me know he wants them. They're my muffins. That's what he's told you. Yeah. But they're his. That's exactly what I would do. Yeah. He even said, I don't even want the muffins, but now I want the muffins. Yeah. I can imagine you doing that. <laughs> I can, I can see it happening. <laughs> I, well. I can see it. So petty. <laughs> Look, I've had a rough morning. So I don't need- You've had a rough morning? I spent the last 10 months. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, wasn't listening. See ya. Let's start at the beginning. What was your childhood like? <sighs> normal. Normal? Yeah, it was uh, normal, normal childhood stuff. Here's your omelet. I'm sorry it's not as good as the omelets your secretary makes, but then you're not married to your secretary, are you? Well, maybe if my secretary also refused to get an abortion, I would be. Mommy, can I have an omelet? Lovely. I got really dark really quickly. Mm, that's the theme of this, Poor little it? Bojack. Look at him dressed up like a sailor. All he wants is an omelet. I don't know if you, yeah, you might not be able to say, but have you done like child psychiatry yet? Not yet, no. Well, it's, I didn't have learned about it, but I've not done my place. Oh, okay. Yet. Is this... Something. <clears throat> this isn't. This isn't great. Obviously. I mean, I, I know it's not great. Thanks. Yeah. Th thanks I for mean, clarifying that. I think it's pretty obvious. Isn't thanks it? for clarifying that. Um, I was going to ask. Have you ever heard or seen a situation similar to this? So I've not worked with children and stuff yet, but okay. I've obviously worked with a lot of adults that have had difficult childhoods because, like, turbulent relationships with their, between their parents okay. or their parents themselves. And a lot of the time, it doesn't have to be that your parents are mean to you or they do stuff to you. Even if they're arguing between themselves, that can impact you as a child. Mm -hmm. And that can have effects like growing up. So this at the time, like obviously Bojack looks like a relatively happy, happy-go-lucky kid. But witnessing this changes the way you think. 
and changes the way that you perceive normal relationships. Or yeah. so this would actually have like quite a, a significant impact. I mean, going off this 10 second clip, but yeah. This isn't great. It's not the best household to grow up in. I would imagine not. Our guest via satellite is Neil McBeal, a naval officer on leave from Afghanistan. <gasps> Welcome to the program, Neil. Thank you, Tom. Hey, I met this guy. All Neil wanted when he got home, and I emphasize, from Afghanistan, was his favorite brand of breakfast muffins. But when he went to the supermarket and called dibs on the last box, well, tell us what happened, Neil. Bojack Horseman from the 90s sitcom horsing around, refused to respect my dibs. Have you no shame? There's not much else he could have done to make that any worse for himself, apart from like, hit Mr. Seal. You guys think I should call in and set the record straight? Bojack, these people feed off controversy. If you dignify the story with a response, it's just gonna fail. I'm now receiving word that we've got oh, Bojack God. himself <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> Bojack. Oh, he needs like a media manager, like a publicity manager. This is going to get so much worse in the next 10 seconds. Yeah. So much worse for Bojack. Bojack, what you did today was a slap in the face of America's heroes. Will you apologize? Okay, enough about America's heroes. Can we talk about dibs? Because he didn't even really have dibs. If he had legitimate dibs... Oh, I had dibs on the muffins. I hid them in the produce section! You left them totally out in the open. That's hiding. How did you survive in Afghanistan? Those are my muffins! You give me back my muffins! Oh, oh. Hey. This is turning into a media frenzy. I feel like it's a very different feel to this episode. It's more of a comedy in this episode. <sighs> Why is he called in? How oh, did you survive in Afghanistan? Not the SEAL side. Oh, you can't say that! Oh my god. I ate 12 muffins, and I didn't even want one! There's your goddamn news story! The mystery of my missing goddamn self-respect! No. Uh -oh. How did it come off? I feel like if you saw that happening, unraveling on news, initially you'd think Bojack said, nope. Hmm. I think towards the end of that, you start thinking, I feel really sorry for this guy. Yeah, it's clear that there's more to the story when someone calls up and acts like that over the phone because yeah. you've nicked some donuts or whatever. It's not even about the muffins. It, everyone is just out to get me because I'm famous and so well adjusted. Has he got no insight or is he in denial? Uh, I would say he's probably in denial. So you think he's, he has insight though? Yeah, I think if you really sat him down and spoke to him properly, okay. he would understand. Because he says like, I have no self-respect, blah, blah, mm. blah. Because he said that all earlier, right? And I think in the first episode, he does hint at the fact that his life's kind of gone nowhere and he's yeah. not done any real work aside from this boat horsing mm. around. So I think he has insight, it's just he pushes it to the side because it's too difficult to deal with it. When I was a kid, I used to climb onto the roof with my dad and look at the stars. What about you? Were you close with your father? Happy Father's Day, Daddy. What is this supposed to be, a lima bean? It's a heart. That's some shoddy craftsmanship, son. I tried my best. No, you didn't. You slacked off and took the easy way out. In this world, you can either do things the easy way or the right way. You take a boat from here to New York. You gonna go around the horn like a gentleman or cut through the Panama Canal like some kind of Democrat? Um, the canal? You go around the horn the way God intended! Uneventful. What? What? Writing a memoir is a bit like therapy. Is it? Because you're, you're essentially having to talk about everything that's happened in your life. And in doing so, you kind of work through things because you're going to talk about difficult things that have happened in the past, yeah. nice things that have happened in the past, your relationship with people growing up, all that kind of stuff. And sometimes therapy is about going into past relationships and things that have happened in the past and kind of working through them. And I feel like writing a memoir is quite similar to that in the sense that you're having to confront things that maybe you've not thought about or had to think about. For... So do you think everyone should write a memoir? I think so, yeah. I think everyone should write a memoir. It's kind of the mind memoir coming soon, guys. <laughs> spent a year in Afghanistan making America safer, and this is the thanks I get? Really? You specifically made America safer? Well, Bojack, surely even you would agree that the troops are heroes. I don't agree to that. Maybe some of the troops are heroes, but not automatically. Oh. I'm sure a lot of the troops are jerks. Most people are jerks already, and it's not like giving a jerk a gun and telling him it's okay to kill people suddenly turns that jerk into a hero. Why is he just... You can't say that on TV. He's taking an issue which was just about... The muffins. Muffins, and pissing off one guy, to attacking all Navy SEALs and army men. I mean, the other SEAL is being very unreasonable. Yeah. But I think the best thing to do is just kind of leave yeah, it. Yeah, let it just... Uh, if he doesn't respond, what story is there? It's just, oh yeah, there's a seal, he was angry. We can lean into it. He's not doing either though. No, he's not doing anything. No. 
You can lean into it and get some money off it nowadays, I reckon. <laughs> if you're a bad person, you could do that. Yeah. If you just don't care what people think of you. Yeah. But the problem is he cares very much what people think of him. Yeah, that's all he cares about. What people <laughs> yeah. think of him. Yeah. Did you just say you think the troops are jerks? Oh, you took that the bad way, didn't you? Oh, God. Sure a lot of the troops are jerks. No, no, no. The troops are jerks? Oh, God. Most people are jerks already, and it's not like giving a jerk a gun. This kind of reminds me of um, a bomb doesn't TikTok. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Oh, mad. <laughs> Especially the bit where he was like, he when she rings him up saying, Are you you're watching M uh, MSNBC? He's yeah. like, No, it's like they're talking about you. Oh, they're talking about me. <laughs> That's how I felt when you said, Run. <laughs> We've got loads of comments. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> so, everyone who doesn't follow us on TikTok, we did a reaction video to Family Guy, and it's all like a bit of fun. We just <laughs> have a bit of a laugh with it, explain why it's wrong, but. Like, we're aware that it's, it's a comedy show. And we cut up a few of the clips and put them on TikTok. And everyone went, went to sleep and it had like 20 views. Welcome in the morning, it had like 70,000. And hundreds of comments, all slating us. One guy was saying, you've ruined everything. Everything. And I text one of me like, oh, the video is kicked off. I was buzzing, I was like, oh, really? Oh, let me have a look. Some positive comments. Not a single positive comment. I think it had like a few hundred comments and they're all negative. So I kind of feel like him right now. <laughs> Embroil. Oh, they're talking about me. Embroil in this media frenzy. <laughs> no control of the situation. It appears that Bojack's Lexus <clears throat> is coming out of the garage. This is very big news indeed. Any comment on Bojack's controversial remarks this week? Uh, no. <laughs> nope. So where are we going? We can hide out at my place while we make a plan. Yeah, great. Just get me away from the cameras. Do we really need to be filming this? It's for my reality show. You never know when gold's gonna strike. I want to fix this as quickly as possible. I don't care who was right about the muffins anymore, even though I was definitely right. I just want my privacy back so I can finish writing my tell-all memoir so everyone will pay attention to me again. I've already reached out to the McBeal camp. He's willing to publicly forgive you if you publicly apologize and present to him a box of muffins as a symbol of your great admiration for the American military and everything they did. If you were in the situation, yeah. and you were presented with this option of getting yeah. out of the situation, yeah. would you take it? Oh, 100%. Really? All I have to be like, I'm really sorry, Mr. McBeal, here's some muffins, and that the whole situation goes away. That's so much less effort than going through all of this. This is so difficult. You wouldn't, would you? <laughs> so what would you do in this scenario? The thing is, I know logically accepting this option is the yeah. best thing to do. Logically, I know that makes sense. Okay. But I think similar to Bojack, I'm too proud to have got myself in that deep <laughs> and then say, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, fair. I think at this point, I would just accept whatever came. As in, I don't think I'd aggravate the situation anymore. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't aggravate it like he did in the first place. Yeah. At this point, I would just not say sorry. No, no way I'm saying sorry. I would just wait, write it out. So where are we gonna do this? Do I have to go on MSNBC? No, we should do it somewhere people will actually see it. Oh, why don't you do it on peanut butter and jelly? Well, here I am, hanging out with my good friend, Bojack Horseman, enjoying each other's company, as we often do. Why does this feel like our medical journey? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got our good friend. <laughs> I think our early medical journeys were like that. Yeah. I think we're a lot more comfortable in front of camera we're more now. Natural, yeah. If you have any interest in medicine or life as a doctor, we've done the series called Medical Journeys. I know a lot of Bojack people are here separately, but any interest, go check them out. Um, it's on different specialties. <gasps> Someone's at the door! I will see who it is. Wow, this is a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, they did say we're gonna do it publicly. Yeah, I just did, I, I didn't, I didn't see this happening. I didn't also realize he'd agreed to it. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me into your home. It is lovely. Bojack, is there anything you'd like to give Neil McBeal? <clears throat> oh yeah, Todd. What the hell is this? I tried to buy the muffins, but my bank card got declined for some reason. But don't worry, I still saved the day because I found this bag of stale hamburger buns. <laughs> Uh, Neil, as a token of my admiration, please accept this bag of stale hamburger buns. What? Yes, hamburger buns. It's a symbol for how we throw our veterans in the trash, sadly, far too often. I'm listening. 
We send our muffins overseas and they come back as stale hamburger buns. But that doesn't mean we should love them any less, because in their own way, aren't stale hamburger buns just as good? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, American made. So what you're saying is you think I'm a hero. Well, I don't know if I... Say it, Bojack. <laughs> Say I'm a hero. That's, that's where you know you're in trouble. Yeah. When people say, so what you're saying... No, no, no. You heard what I said. No need to rephrase it and rehash it into your mind. That's when you know you're in trouble. He was doing really well into that. He point. was playing the game really well, he, yeah. He pivoted really quickly he, from not having muffins to having stale burger buns. He's gonna mess it up though, isn't he? Yeah, he's not gonna be able to say it. No. You're a hero. The troops are all heroes. Every single one. Great. And I don't believe saying that cheapens the word and actually disrespects those we mean to honor by turning real people into political pawns. Mr. Peanut Butter got a bucket stuck on his head! Guys, guys, where am I? Can someone tell me where I am? Where did he get that bucket from? Who gave him a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> you want a day old hamburger bun? I'm all right. How'd it go down there? You know what the problem is with everybody? They all just want to hear what they already believe. No one ever wants to hear the truth. I want to hear the truth. I don't know if you want to tell it, though. Very profound. He is very profound. I think that's very pertinent as well to like this day and age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People already believe a certain thing and you'll never change their mind. But the worst part is they'll say, I'm open to opinions. Hmm. I think part of it is that the last few years have obviously been like, absolutely mental. Oh yeah. And so people don't want to be challenged. They don't want to challenge their own views because that's like all they have. Everything in the world is so chaotic that all they can really rely on is what they already know. And if you then start changing all of that as well, it must be quite difficult psychologically. It's a very psychiatric answer. I psyched you there, didn't I? You did, I, a lot of it went over my head. <laughs> Look, I can write you the standard empty calorie celebrity tells some if that's what you're looking for, but I thought you might want more than that. I do. Well, then you're going to have to open up and give me something real. What, you think I can't open up? Well, I don't know if you can or not. You certainly haven't. <sighs> Okay. From now on, full truth. Warts and all. You want to know about my parents? They drank. A lot. My father was a failed novelist. My mother was the heiress of the Sugarman Sugar Cubes fortune and my dad resented her for it. He used to make me cry with him while listening to Cole Porter records. He made me build my own treehouse and then he tore it down while I was at summer camp because instead of hardy Christian nails, I used screws, which he called fancy Jew nails. Well, right. that, I think that was a very different episode to the episode one. It was. It was obviously a lot shorter, but I feel like it didn't what, go what? as deep. Mm. It was more of yeah. what I expected Bojack Horseman to be compared to episode one. Yeah, uh, but I know everyone keeps saying that it gets quite mm. deep and yeah. uh, insightful. Mm. And I think you, you kind of seeing shades of that towards the end. Mm. Also, just a heads up, so I know we've taken a while to do episode two, and we're not going to wait that long to do episode three. We're, we're planning on doing a video where we react to all of season one in one go. So keep watching if you're here for Bojack. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this episode or what you particularly liked about it. If there are any other shows you want us to react to, leave them down below as well. But otherwise, we'll see you next time. See you later.